Have you seen this dynamic counter animation before? It's simple, effective, and a great way to elevate the quality of your videos. You can use it like this, or perhaps like this, and even like this too. Whatever the story, a number counter animation can help to communicate your message effectively. So if you want to learn how to create this superb effect for yourself, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create this number counter animation in DaVinci Resolve, how to customize it by adding commas, decimals, and even how to add symbols before or after the number. Plus, how to create a template so you can effortlessly add this animation to your videos in a matter of seconds. Let's dive straight in. To start, drag a new fusion composition onto your timeline. You can find this in the effects panel on the edit page. I usually just type fusion in the text box to find it quicker. Then right click on it and select open in fusion page. If you've never used fusion before and you're a little intimidated, don't worry, I've been there. But once you get your head around it, using nodes is a doddle and I'm gonna be walking you through it step by step anyway. To start, let's add a background node and connect this to the output by dragging a point from the small gray box to the yellow triangle on the media out one node. I'm gonna leave the background color to black, but you can change yours if you want something a little more colorful. Now let's add a text node to the composition and connect it by dragging a point from the gray output to the white output of the background node. This will add a merge node. All right, now let's start to put the animation together. Select the text one node and the controls will show in the inspector on the right. If you don't see this, you can toggle on the inspector tab in the top right corner. Right click at the top of the inspector panel where it says text one, then select edit controls. This will allow us to add a new control to the text node, which we're used to control the number counter animation. In the pop-up, give the new control a name. You can call it whatever you want, but for this example, I'm gonna name it counter. For type, you can keep the number option selected. Below that, you'll see the page option. This will determine where the new control is added. So if you select text, the new control will be added to the text page. Whereas if you select layout, the new control will be added to the layout page and so on. For ease of use, select text. So the new control is added to the bottom of the text page. We also select the integer box. So our new control counts up in whole numbers. For input control, select slider control. So our new control is a slider. Now this part's important. As standard, the control will only allow you to count up to 1 million. So if you want to reach numbers higher than 1 million, we need to edit this further. In the allowed boxes, first add the lowest number you want the animation to start at. I'm gonna use zero. Then in the next box, enter the highest number you might want to count to. I'm gonna enter 10 million. That's one followed by seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You might not need the animation to count this high, but this will give us way more flexibility when we create a template later on. You can now select OK. And look, we now have a new counter control at the bottom of the text page. Currently, it doesn't do anything, so we need to connect it up using something called an expression. I won't go into too much detail about what this is, but we can use expressions in Fusion to link controls. To do this, navigate to the top of the text page and right click on the text box. At the bottom of the drop down menu, you'll see expression. Select it. This will bring up a field underneath the text box, which is where we enter our expression. To connect the control we made before, we simply need to add the name of it to the expressions field. I named it counter, so our enter counter, but if you named your control something different, you'll need to enter that instead. It's worth noting the expressions field is case sensitive, so I'll have to enter counter with a capital C to get it working properly. Now when we move the counter slider, you'll notice the corresponding number selected will show in both the text box and on screen too. Next, we need to add keyframes to the counter slider to automate the counting effect. So navigate the cursor to the first frame and enter the number you want the animation to start at on the counter slider. We'll use zero. Then press the diamond to record the first keyframe. Now move the cursor to where you want the animation to stop. 
I'm going to select frame 110. Next, enter the number you want the animation to count to. I'm going to use 3000. So I'll type 3000 into the slider control. And boom, our second keyframe is recorded. Now, if we press play, we see our counter flawlessly counts from 0 to 3000. You can now customize it by changing the size, font, and color. To go a step further, you can open the splines, select the text one node, select the zoom to fit option, click and drag to select the diagonal line, and press S on your keyboard. This will smooth out the animation so it starts and ends slower. That's the basis for this number counter animation and it's starting to look pretty good. But we can make it look way better by customizing it with symbols, commas and decimals. Let's start by adding some symbols. This is super straightforward. All we have to do is head back to the expression box and at the start of the expression type double quotation mark followed by the symbol you want to display. Let's use a dollar sign. Then another double quotation mark followed by two periods. If you click off the expression box, you'll now notice you have a dollar sign added to the animation. You can also use this expression to add symbols at the end of the number too. This time at the end of the expression, we we'll add two periods followed by a double quotation mark, the symbol you want, and finally another double quotation mark. And there you have it. We just easily added a percentage sign. The best part of all this is it doesn't just work for adding symbols to the animation. You can also use it to add words and even more numbers too. Okay, so we've got our counter animation. We've added some symbols. Now let's add some formatting in the form of commas and decimals. Let's start with the commas. In the counter we created that counts to 3000, we add a comma after the three. To do this, we need to change the expression up a little. So let's delete what we've currently got and replace it with something new. We start the same way with the dollar sign inside the double quotation marks. Next, we type two periods followed by string.sub and then open brackets, the name of your counter slider, comma, minus four, comma, minus four, and finally close brackets. The string.sub expression that we're using here allows us to extract certain numbers from our counter slider setting. By following the string.sub expression with the name of our counter slider and the numbers minus four to minus four inside brackets, we're telling DaVinci Resolve that we want to show the first digit of our counter animation, but not the rest just yet. Next, it's time to insert the comma. To do this, we use the same method we used to insert the dollar sign at the start, which was double quotation marks with a comma inside. Not forgetting the two periods before, of course. Now all that's left to do is to bring in the last three digits. This is super easy. We'll just do the same thing we did to enter the first digit, except this time we need to use different numbers. In this case, it will be minus three and minus one. By the way, it's worth noting that those minus numbers we're using in the expression will need to be changed if your counter animation is dealing with more than four digits like minus. Minus one is always the first digit starting from the right side, and then minus two, and so on. So if your counter has more digits, the numbers you enter will need to be a little different. If your number is in the tens of thousands, this is the expression you'll need to use. Or if it's in the hundreds of thousands, you'll need this one. And if you're dealing with numbers in the millions, you'll need to use this. I'll also leave those in the description below so you can just copy and paste them. So if we press play, we should now have a fully functional number animation with commas. And we do, but there's one issue. The comma is showing up way too early during the first part of the animation. We're gonna sort that out soon, but first, let me show you how to add in decimal places using this same expression. I still want the counter to count to 3000, but this time with two decimal places at the end. To start with, we're gonna navigate to the last keyframe where our counter hits 3000, and we're gonna add two more zeros to the end. Technically, the counter will now count to 300,000, 
but once we're done, these two extra zeros will be our two decimal places. Since we've changed the number, we also need to slightly change the expression. Our counter animation now has six digits instead of the four we had before. So we we'll need to change those minus numbers. Those two minus fours will be changed to minus six and minus six to include the digit before the comma. We also need to change the next part of the expression to include our next three digits. Since we've added two more digits in total, we we'll simply take away two from each number. So the minus three will change to minus five and the minus one will change to minus three. Now we can add our decimal, which is easy as it's the same method we used to add the symbols and commas which was two periods followed by a double quotation mark, then the decimal, and finally another double quotation mark. Now all that's left to do is to add in our two decimal places using string.sub for one final time. Here's what the full expression looks like with the two decimals on the end. And here's the final result. It's looking pretty nice, but that comma that's showing prematurely is ruining everything. Fortunately, the fix is surprisingly simple. Go to the first frame of your fusion composition, make sure your text node is selected, and in the inspector panel, move the right on slider control until the comma disappears. The dollar symbol will disappear too, but don't worry, this will only be temporary. Then select the diamond to set a keyframe. Now all you have to do is go frame by frame until you notice the number in the text box doesn't match the number in the animation. When that happens, you can adjust the right on slider until the full number shows. This will set your next keyframe. Now all you have to do is repeat this process until you reach the end of the animation and the full number has been revealed. By the way, you might have to go through the animation a second time and add some additional keyframes, as sometimes the comma will fight its way back in. Now let's sort out the issue we have with the dollar sign. All we have to do is select the text and merge nodes, copy and paste to duplicate them, connect the first merge node to the second merge node, and the second merge node to the media out node. Next, we keyframe the write on effect on the text node we've just duplicated, but this time from the other side, so only the dollar sign is visible. If I briefly disconnect the first text node, you'll see what's happening. Okay, now that's done, let's see what it looks like. It looks pretty darn good. The only thing that's left to do is to export our new number counter animation as a template so we can use it over and over again. We we'll select File, Export and Fusion Composition. Create a new folder to save the Fusion Composition to. I'm gonna create one on my desktop. Then give the composition a name and click save. And that's it. We now have a template for our number counter animation. Next time you want to use it in an edit, simply add a new fusion composition to your timeline, open it in the fusion page, go to file, import, then fusion composition, select the number counter .com file that you just created and click open. And boom you have your fully functional number counter animation in a matter of seconds. From here, you can change the symbols and the numbers to whatever you like and just generally customize it to your liking. Having this template ready to use is gonna make this whole process so much quicker and easier. It's gonna save you so much time in the long run. This number counter effect is honestly so cool. It adds interest to your content, it can help to convey your story, and it totally elevates your YouTube videos. Speaking of YouTube videos, if like me you're on a mission to create the best YouTube videos you can, but you're unsure how, you should check out this video next. Thanks for watching.